What's up guys? Will H Tech Review back with another video. Got a different type of tech video here today. This is a little bit something different. My banner covers all kinds of stuff so this is one of those all things in between and I want to make a video on this. Some people out there may be looking to buy this particular brand or buy something like this and they may be searching for a little information about it so i decided to make a video so this is a standard tire inflator this is by hyper tough uh, this uh, has eight minutes inflation time 120 psi 750 cubic inches per minute it has a bright light it's portable 12 volt built-in led light and one year warranty on this side of it, it gives you some of the technical spec. You may want to pause and read it yourself, but I'll go over it. Uh, the rated voltage is DC 12 volt, rated power 120 watts, maximum current 10 watts, maximum pressure 120 PSI. Uh, accessories that come with it, ball and toy adapters, and this thing weighs 1.43 pounds. So on the back of it, it gives you a picture of the adapters that you get, a floaty adapter and a ball adapter. It tells you that you have an analog gauge right here, uh, convenient cable and hose storage, and then you have a built-in light on the side of it right here. So here it is, good for car tires, bicycle tires, inflatable toys, sports balls. Gives you inflation power there, moderate 4 to 800 cubic inches per minute, high 800 to 1500 cubic inches per minute, and maximum above 1500. Gives you the inflation time here, moderate for a car tire, 10 to 15 minutes, for a SUV or truck tire, 15 to 20 minutes, and an ATV tire two to three minutes and then so on and so forth right here if you got it on maximum or high so let's take a look at this and check it out uh, I'll try and leave a link where this came from down below or where you can pick up something like this if you're in need of this I know sometimes I've had tires that you go outside and they're just a little bit low and you just need a little power to get a little air in it to get you where you need to go and this may be something that that can take care of it i can tell you it's very small kind of feels like a toy and look like a toy but for someone that maybe has some issues with sight then this is very you can see it so you got a power button here i guess this is the light to, uh, button to turn on your light here's your analog gauge here's your light on the side which i think would be pretty pretty cool if you're using this in the dark and you need to see something here on the back of it, you got your storage for your two fittings here, the floatable and the tire. Uh, your ball, this is for a ball, and this is for a floatable. So they have a nice little area to store these. And then on this side, a cutout here, convenient for your, this is for your 12 volt adapter, which has a very long cord on it. I'm not gonna unravel it, but this plugs into your 12 volt adapter or cigarette lighter, whichever you have in your car. Most modern cars have a 12 volt adapter nowadays, but some still use a cigarette lighter. And this, this end is for your tire. So very thick and look like it will withhold for a little while there. So I do have something that I want to try this out on. So we're going to take this outside and plug it into 12 volt adapter on my car and we're going to blow up something and see if it works i'm not going to let the air out of my car tire <laughs> to try it out i think this should work guys so let's go out to the car and check it out all right guys so we're outside in my vehicle i have it plugged in here to my outlet and here's the device that's the cord coming out and there's the other end doing this one-handed guys so here's the light if you want to use the light shine it pretty bright so it'll do pretty good outside in the dark uh, it's fairly loud but we're going to take it out i'm going to be blowing up this fitness ball here 75 centimeters blow it up outside of the vehicle so all right guys so we're outside of the car uh, here's the exercise ball 
right here. Pretty good size exercise ball. And it has this type of insert here where you can put your air in. So I'm gonna drop that. And being that it's that fitting, you, this comes with two fittings here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Put this one back and show you guys how this work. So you just screw this on the inside of this, like so. And then you take your other end and you put it here, just like that. And then we're gonna hit the power. I'll let you guys see how loud this is. So it does kind of <laughs> move around there by itself. And there's the gauge, if you guys can hear me. So it is in flight mode. Let's see how long this actually takes. You may have to hold it in place. All right, guys, as you see, it has blown up the exercise ball pretty firm. Uh, I could get more air in it if I wanted to. This took about between five to seven minutes, I want to say. Now, I never got a pressure reading here of how much pressure was in here. Not sure if that only works with the car tires or not. It works. Uh, it's kind of loud, so be expecting that. The length of the card coming from your outlet inside of your car is it's pretty long because I'm at the front of my car over here at the front tires right over there and you can kind of see it there so this is this will be you know it's long enough to get all your tires on your car this would definitely work for your bicycles and uh things like that uh, it's going to take a while though i think but uh otherwise it, it works great man just it's going to bounce around when it's on the concrete there so let's take it back inside guys all right, guys, so that was a look at the Hyper Tough Standard Tire Inflator. I'm not sure what the price was. Uh, I imagine anywhere from $20 on up. I'll try, to leave, try and leave a link where you can pick something up like this in the description below. Catch you guys in the next video. Will H, and I'm out.